another post from Sir Brian Adam of the final grades received by the students in a certain math course. One-fifth are A's, one-fourth are B's, one-half are C's, and the remaining ten grades are D's. What is the number of students in the course? Is it A, 80, B, 110, C, 160, or D, 200, or E, 400? Please try to answer this first before you will see our solution. Basahin ko ulit yung question ha. Of the final grades received by the students in a certain math course, one-fifth are A's, one-fourth are B's, and one-half are C's. In the remaining, and the remaining 10 grades are D's. So, i-add lang natin yan siya. Let's uh, consider this as our solution number one. I-add mo lang yan sila lahat. One half. Para ma-add natin sila, let's find the least common denominator. Ang least common denominator nito ay 20. Meron tayong separate video on how to find the least common denominators. So, 20. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. 5 times 1 equals 5. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. 10 plus times 1 equals 10. So, pwede na natin... I-add. Yan, kopyahin lang si denominator. Na 4 plus 5 plus 10 equals 19. So, therefore, itong 10, remaining 10, grades are these. That is 1 over 20. Kasi as a whole, 20 over 20. So, minus 19 over 20, and that is 1 over 20. So, itong 1 over 20, yan yung 10. So, ang gagawin mo lang ay i-multiply mo itong 10 dito. This is 109, uh, 190 plus yung 10, that is 200. Another way is, ang gagawin mo na lang, i-multiply mo na lang siya sa 20. 20 times 10, this is 200. Pero isa-isahin natin. Let's do solution number 2 para mas lalo niyong maintindihan. Erase muna natin ito. Erase, erase. So, balikan lang natin yung problem. Okay. So, ang ginawa natin, ina-add natin sila. Yung may grade na A's, B, C, at later yung D. Okay. So, mayroon tayong one-fifth. Inad natin sa one-fourth. Inad sa one-half. Tapos, ang least common denominator niya ay 20. Okay. So, 20 divided by 5 equals 4 times 1 equals 4. Then, pareho lang din, kopyahin na lang natin. 20 divided by 4 equals 5 times 1 equals 5. Then, this is 20 and that is 10. So, this is 19 over 20. 10, balikan natin 10 ha. 10 is 1 over 20 of the number of stud students, yung kabuuan. 10 is 1 twentieth of the entire students. So, let n be the number of all students. Ngayon, yung tanong nyo, saan nga galing yung 1 over 20? Ang kabuuan ay 20 over 20, yung buong, yung lahat na estudyante, okay? As a whole. Tapos, i-minus mo yung 19 over 20, that is 1 over 20. Yan yung equivalent dito sa 10 estudyante. Yung 10 estudyante, yan yung 120 sa kabuuan ng mga estudyante. So, 10 is 120 of N. Let N be that yung number of students. Kopyahin si 10. Ang is equals yan siya. 1 over 20 ang of multiplication N. Para ma-isolate natin si n dito, itong si 1 over 20, pang-divide na siya sa kabila. So, maging 10 divided by 1 over 20 equals n. Now, 
kopyahin si 10. Ang division maging multiplication, meron tayong separate video on how to divide fraction. So, 1 over 20, reciprocal niya ay 20 over 1 equals N. Now, pwede na tayo mag-multiply numerator to numerator. Remember, lahat ng mga whole numbers ang numerators, ang lahat ng mga whole numbers, mayroon yung automatic na denominator na 1, okay? So, 20, 10 times 20 equals 200. And that is the answer. Isa pa ha, para mas lalong maintindihan. Yung iba may mag-comment na, ma, pa ulit-ulit ka? Ganun din naman ang ginawa mo. Ang sa akin lang, kung na-gets na nyo na, pwede nyo nang, uh, i pwede nyo nang i-end ang video ito. Pero para sa iba na medyo malapo pa rin naintindihan yung mga, mga sinasabi ko, gawa pa tayo ng iba pang paraan. Although, pareho lang din, pero para lang mas lalo nyo maintindihan ba? Ang ginawa natin, ina-add natin lahat ng mga fractions. Tapos, ma-add lang natin yan kung hanapan natin ang least common denominator. So, mayroon na tayong 4 over 20, 5 over 20, at 10 over 20. Ina-add natin lang yan lahat and that is 19 over 20. So, may natira kang obviously na 1 over 20 na yan yung, para maging mabuo lang yung 20 over 20 mo. Yung as a whole, 1, okay? So, mayroon ka pang 1 over 20. At ito, yung natira na yan, yan yung itong 10. And the remaining 10, ang grades nila are D. So, ito yung equivalent niya ay 10. You see, kung 10 yan, 1 over 20 is equals to 10. So, obviously, itong 19 over 20, that is 190. Kung i-add mo yan, that is 200. Tapos, kung sakaling uh, hanapan kayo kung ilan yung mga estudyante na A's, B's, at C's. Now, ang gagawin mo lang ay itong 10 na to, i-multiply mo sa 4, that is 40. Tapos, i-multiply mo sa 5, that is 50. I-multiply mo sa 10, and that is 100. Kung ilan yung 4, 40. Kung ilan yung 5, 50. Kung ilan yung 10, 100. Kung i-add mo yan lahat, this is 190. So, i-add mo sa 10, that is 200. Yan yung total at yan na yung sagot. 200. Thank you.